When you use the internet, what happens? Whether you go online to chat with a friend, or send mail, or buy a book, or check the weather, watch a movie, or study the Peloponnesian War, it feels like there's one wire connecting you directly to the thing you want. But a billion other people are connecting to a billion other things at the same time. How does that happen? It's really about making agreements. Think of networking as a game. It only works if we agree to play by the same rules. Otherwise, it's not much fun. If you can get two or more computers to play together, you have a network. If your friend can do it too, there's another network. But if you both agree that your networks will play the same way, now you can hook the two together. You have an internet work. The rules we play by are called the internet protocol. And as long as we all agree, we can keep adding more devices and more networks until the whole world is connected. That's what the internet is. A network of networks that share each other. Every device on the internet has its own unique address. Anything you send via internet is really just a message from one device to another. But it doesn't travel in one big block. It gets pulverized into tiny packets of data, each one wrapped with info about what it is, where it came from, and where it's going. This way, your one message can actually take several different paths to its destination. Then, by following the protocol, the receiving device knows how to put it all back together. The strength of the 